Shar Jackson, actress, singer, producer, momager. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, the answer, man. Shar Jackson from Moesha. Good Burger. A lot of people grew up to her. Faced a lot of challenges. Overcame a lot. Now she's managing her daughter in the business. She come to Clubhouse to talk about her story. Let's get to it. Did you hear what I said? No, we didn't hear anything. Oh, this is... We want to know. The behind-the-scenes story, Good Burger, we want to know. It is the ladies' takeover tonight with WAC 100. We have an exclusive with Char Jackson, y'all. Much love to the Queen R&B. Salute to all the mods on stage. Everyone in the goo, y'all know we doing what we do. Man, let's run this chat up. Where y'all at? What's up, y'all? We in Good Burger with an exclusive with Char Jackson. Char. Are you back yet? I'm back. I'm back. Yep, you almost there. You almost there. Yep, you almost there. She almost there, y'all. She not quite there. But I hope y'all enjoying the interview. Um, the discussion we having. The conversation. Okay, I had to restart the internet. Char, I think you playing with me, Char. <laughs> all right, Shar. Now they, now they been in here handling you with soft gloves, but I know you got thick skin. You've been in the game too long. Shar, this whack one hundred talking to you, Shar. All right, I'm gonna put you in this low rider, and this sixty four. I'm gonna hit these switches. All I right? cannot. All right, like game and Keisha Cole in that video. You remember which one I'm talking about? So we gonna take a ride. Down these, down these back streets, and we want to know some of those things that might have occurred that was funny, serious, or very secretive, but you could talk about it while it's a good burger. That's what we want to know. So I win this shivy. Don't make me hit this switch. All right? I'll holler at us. All no, right? seriously, good burger was so chill, dude. Like, it was a bunch of kids just doing the stupidest movie ever but having the time of their lives we laughed we worked 16 hour days but laughed like insane people the entire time even when we got delirious and tired all we would do is laugh like i that was literally the the best job i ever had we had so much fun on that show and i wish i could be like oh there was drama on the good burger set but it was nothing it literally we had so much fun I went back to Moesha and told them, I was like, dude, I just did the best job ever. Sure, was any of the laughs, we don't have to say any names in particular, was any of the laughs possibly driven by like happy things like uh, mushrooms? No. Oh, okay. Not at all. Nope. <laughs> there, there, were, there, were, there were things like that on, on other sets, but not, not on Good Burger. Moesha, you like those Moesha people? Yes. I can't stand a couple of them people from Moesha. Who, who can't you stand? I don't like not them. What's them people, them stuck up snobbish people? What's their last name? Sean? Uh, you know, you tell me. Who, who you talking about? What's their last name, Sean? Them stuck up snobbish people. I can't, I would never work with any of them personally. Okay. I don't know. Listen, this is the thing. <laughs> Let me tell you about me. Maybe I give off the vibe that uh, I don't, I don't really deal with people like that. Or if you come at me like that, it might be a different kind of ending. So I never had those problems. How about that little asshole Ray J? <laughs> you know, I don't really like that guy. You know. Oh, I'm sorry, what did you do? I tried to do business with him a time or two, you know, a few years back. What about it? Was Ray J an asshole? He wasn't an asshole to me. He no? Was When's the last time you talked to that little guy? Probably about a year ago. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But I spoke to Marcus recently, who speaks to him all the time. He's Now, that one? Now, listen. 
Ray J, my little brother. I'm just trolling. Now, Marcus. I can't. Marcus and I, you know, me and Ray J been doing business 20 years. Me, Ray, Sonya, I talk to him every day. And, but Marcus is an asshole. You, he, Stop it. He is. He's like a little gnat. <laughs> See, we got different experiences. Because he's not like that with me. I also did take off my belt and told him I whooped him once. Uh, See? When, we were on Moesha when he was a kid. So maybe that's why, again, I don't get those problems. Last time I seen him, he was filming something called like bomb pizza you know what you know we just got Debo by the zoo security Ray J was a little mad about it wait what happened Zeus uh Lemmy his security Debo the shit out of Marcus well that's foul what was the reason uh you know Lemmy was power tripping that's why Ray J started tripping a lot of people don't know that's why Ray J really going at Lemmy right now is cause of that he feels like come on dude we didn't protect you for all these years and now <clears throat> you in a great position. You want to do this to, you know, you know, Ray J and Mark, they like friends. Yeah. You know, so that's what that was. That's crazy. You got any, uh, what, what's up next? You got any TV land? What you doing? What's up I, next? I got, a, I got a bunch of things. I just found out that um, yesterday that I'm about to do a movie with one of my idols, um, one of my acting idols, which I'm super excited about. I can't dive into it right this second but it's uh it's a comedy it's a movie and it's based in a prison i don't know how that's gonna be funny but I, mm, whatever the people that are in it are phenomenal and i can't wait till i can talk about it because oh it's gonna be so badass um outside of that i'm about to start voicing um an animated character for both an animated series and her video game um her name is Sherlock Holmes. Um, she has a comic book that uh, drops at the end of this month. And she's a geek. She's a, a detective in the video game world. And it's based off of a character that I created and that my daughter, Corey, uh, she did the, the concept art for it. Okay, I might be low, but I'm beyond excited because I love a good Sherlock Holmes. I've been watching the Sherlock Holmes, I believe, in Korean. No, the Japanese. No, Japanese. It's just amazing. But the fact that you're doing that with some Sherlock Holmes twist, I love it because it gives me a little flair of Harriet the Spy, too. Not going to hold you. Yes, yes. But this is, you know, this is a little brown girl who um, is a genius who literally just becomes a detective and she solves all the crimes in the video game land it's That's gonna be gonna so be exciting so cool. it's literally something my daughter and i came up with and um I, I can't wait. <laughs> no, I think that's dope because it's something for you and your daughter to do together. So that now we know like, hey, this is something that parents can sit down with their kids. It's something, you know, because a lot of these video games, I think sometimes it's just kind of like geared towards the kids. Right. The parents aren't that involved. But I think the fact that you sat down with your daughter, came up with this and other parents who are in a cosplay and gaming and stuff, they can be involved as well. So I love that it's a duality to it. Yes. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of like, you know, just, brain plate so a lot of brain stimulation a lot of things to just get you thinking and and i think a lot of video games don't have that anymore it's just like just press a button and shoot somebody and i and granted i'll do that too because fallout is one of my favorite games so yes i do that but why not expand our minds and 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 problem solve and uh and detect you know and um and so that's kind of what we're doing with this, and I'm I'm super proud of it. Well, not everybody went on their Sherlock Holmes trip. Hello. <laughs> Listen, this is just Char. She is cool as a fan. If y'all got some questions, let's go. Because I know some of y'all asking in the chat, but some of y'all come on like asking us questions. Go ahead. Let's go. Shar, we appreciate you. Um, Pitbull, do you have a question? 
or did he ask it? No, I, I had asked my question already, but I'll ask another one. Okay. Um, how was it working with um, Keenan and Kel doing Good Burger? Then, how was it, you know, when he you found out he had a crush on you? Wait, who had a crush on me? When you played in Good Burger. Oh, the character. Yes, ma'am, oh, the, the character. 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 Oh, okay. You, so you got you to gotta be clear. I'm oblivious to things. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? Huh? Oh, my God, they're my brothers. Um, uh, <laughs> um, I don't you know what? <laughs> we had, we literally had, I cannot say this enough. We had so much fun. Those two together are brilliant. Um, and to see two young comedians feed off of each other the way that they do, it you could sit there and watch that for hours. Um, I just, I loved it. And, and they were amazing. And I still talk to them a lot. Um, and yeah, when I, when I, I already knew that one of them was going to like me because it was in the, the breakdown of the script that I saw when I auditioned. So, so I was, that wasn't a shocker. Like we knew that was coming up, but, um, but yeah, no, we had a blast. That's dope. Okay, Char, going back to the Sherlock Holmes and Harriet the Spy, it's so funny that Dre is wrote in the chat that she's a fan. I love Harriet the Spy down and her, um, her, what is tomato sandwiches was, um, <laughs> now speaking on animation, right? Do you think, right, that you could do like a superhero character or something like that? Like throwing the axe, like, are you a X-Men fan? Have you watched X-Men 97? Are you a Storm fan? So I wanted to know. I'm that a thing. huge, I'm a huge X-Men fan. I'm a huge just Marvel fan altogether. Um, you should have seen how I was fighting with uh, the creators of Deadpool to just be like, just make up a character for me. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't work for three, but you know who knows in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, I you're gonna be doing voice characters, right? So yes, yes, and 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 we are. I am doing something that is very action packed because I did tell my my uh, team that I wanted to be a superhero in some capacity, and uh, I think they came up with something that is sexy, gonna utilize my martial arts skills. And um, and just let me be badass, man. Because I don't think I've had the chance to do that on camera yet. Are you going to be utilizing your rapping skills as well? <laughs> Stop it. Um, <laughs> uh, no, not that I know of. Um, uh, <laughs> but I'll put the word out there and see if anybody bites. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> so Nadi just uh Nadi just mentioned something real quick and it actually made me curious. Have you ever thought about being a voice actor for a show or video game? Absolutely. And if so like kind of what area or direction would you like to go with that? Um just video games period. I just like because I'm such a huge fan. That's probably the main reason that I used to go to E3 is so that I could meet the developers and be like, yeah, so you guys know if you ever need a voice, like, how did you grow? <laughs> um, but it's, so I don't really even care. Like, just let me voice any of these fools because you get to go to a whole different place when when you don't have to physically embody anything, but you could just voice it. Um, at that point, I can use like accents and do all kinds of crazy stuff and, and, and I can't wait to do that. Um, but I definitely, because I'm addicted to um, like the Oblivion, Elder Scrolls um, series, or the, what, what is my dog on crack? Sparta, shut up! <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what is your dog's name? His name is Sparta. Dude, I'm about to, oh, I'm about to start an Instagram page for him called This Is Sparta. This Wait, is what kind of dog is he? He's a, he's a multi clue dude. He's a pain in the head. I have a Morky. Oh. Dre, is this your queen? Yeah, he's a multi clue <laughs> I love it, I'm sorry. He has this little body and these super long poodle legs. It's the funniest thing ever. And he sleeps in a kickstand. Yo, crazy. mine sleeps on his um, back with his feet in the air like he's passed in the air, out. Right I don't know what's wrong with him. 
this which is crazy. Man. Yes. So it's Sparta. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Fallout right now is like literally my most favorite game series ever, and I would do anything almost to um, to voice a character in that franchise. So, so anything in that kind of realm. Do you play any handhelds? Do I play what, baby? Uh, do you play any like handheld games? Do you play like um, Nintendo Switch? Do you play any handheld? Absolutely, absolutely. My my daughter has um, uh, what do we play on our Switches? Okay, when I'm on my Switch, so I play games like like Zelda. I play like um, like The Sims because I'm like an OG Sims person, like from day one when it was just on the computer and not cute at all. Um, but I play that on my handheld. I play. What do we got? Like, I think of like Gods of War on one of my handhelds. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm I'm constantly like I, I'm on my tablet right now talking to you guys, and the only reason I have this tablet is so that I can game. I was gonna game say, tablet. That is so dope. Make sure you get you some uh, Mario Kart and Super Smash oh, 100%, 100%. Bros. We have we have we have Mario Kart tournaments. Oh really? That's so dope. That's so dope. So I had a quick question. What's your favorite gaming system then? Um, um Team Xbox. Yep, Team Xbox. Dreams, why you get quiet? <laughs> yeah, you play. Team Xbox. Well, I have one messy question. Go ahead. Just one. Who I'll is like your who is your celebrity crush growing up in your acting career? <sighs> Okay, it changed a lot. When I was younger, it was um, Time Ock, uh, aka The Last Dragon. Um, it was him for a really, really long time. And then and then I fell in love with Robert Downey Jr. and I still haven't gotten over that yet. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's kind of a stretch. It was The Last Dragon to Iron Man. Okay. Well, they say they're bringing Avengers back um, for sure. You know, Marvel's on the game plan and they're bringing all of these shows into fruition. So do you think that you will reach out and try to get on something um, when it comes to like Marvel and the new characters that's happening right now? Absolutely. I'm a Disney head. So if I could work in the Marvel universe, like that would be a double dream come true. I can actually see you being like an agent or something. You know what? I... I watch this all the time like like looking at your character just hearing your personality and I think it's so dope because it's kind of like you know watching you um growing up with you and then like now learning you know you even a little bit more on stage now asking questions I could see you doing like an episode or in the series like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or yes. being a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent or a government agent or you know something in that realm I know Angela Bassett have did like um 911 and she's been all in all of these kind of like agent kind of like movies I can see you doing something like uh, Amanda Waller or something like that I think that would be real dope for you I can see it too you and I can see the same thing <laughs> there's a show that's out right now um, that I think I would fit in incredibly on and it's called The Boys it's it's a like dark comedy. love that show I love it. Man, Me too. Come on. I want it, man. It like that right now would be the dream job. Did you ever see Invincible? Yeah. Oh my God, it's like the same I thing, and it's so Marvel dope. Of, of a universe. If I'm a, if I'm a diving into the universe, I'm diving into the whole universe. Right. <laughs> You're so dope. I love her. <laughs> so one last question before yes. we um let well, you I have go. One too, Avi. So just one, just one. okay. All so right. she said, so no, it's Ebony. two more, baby. Two okay, more. <laughs> so uh, from the chat live, Silly asks, how did you feel when you won the celebrity rap star on MTV? It was unreal because I, okay, I am, again, a nerd, a geek. Dude, I listen to things like, like growing up, I listened to like Boingo Boingo and, and Duran Duran and, you know. Uh, what do you know about Duran Duran? <laughs> come on, don't, man, don't play with me. 
Listen, I'm the cash mode. Listen, I'm the cash mode, and we can take it. All that yes, come on, there, Aria. Let's talk about it. So that was kind of what I leaned to, and then my favorite genre of music is classical. So I didn't listen to a whole lot of rap. Like, yeah, I heard the stuff that was on the radio, whatever. But I, I, because I'm an, I'm an academic, I would listen to classical music and study and things like that. Um, so a lot of rap wasn't necessarily in my forte. However, uh, when I did that show, I had my best friend by my side, Yvette Wilson, who plays Andel on Moesha. And she was uh, with me as my coach off camera um, and, my, and my hype man. Because I remember we would talk about it after every episode where I'd be like, dude, this is so not even me. I'm like a surfing mom from Orange County, man, that listens to classical music. And she was like, F that, you a thug. So you about to do this. And, and, <laughs> and so she convinced me in my head that I was a rapper. And, and then I convinced myself that I was a rapper. I became a rapper and won the show, which still <laughs> shocked me. But, um, but I knew I was gonna win because yeah. I said I would win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it was so amazing, and 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 it was it was a shocker almost because I thought Kendra had it, dude. Like, you know, she had all those Playboy fans and stuff like that who really supported her and the show that she was on at the time. So I, I didn't know, but then when they said my name, dude, oh, it was the best feeling ever. Yes, I did kind of, I did kind of, um, I did kind of murk that show though. You absolutely did. I kind of okay? did. Yeah, I kind of did. Yo, the fact she said Merc just said a lot to me, yo. <laughs> All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Shout out to Shar Jackson for popping on the platform. After all her acting credits, she's a dancer. She's a singer. She won a rap contest. Now she's managing a daughter in the business. Hopefully she will be able to steer her away from some of the pitfalls that she had to face. But um, all in all, man, just a solid individual and appreciate her sharing her story, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy The Answer. We out.